to my channel. I'm Bonnie. For those of you new here, welcome and welcome back. Today I am in Sitka, Alaska and we are exploring on our own. Let's go check out what Sitka has to offer. Let's get started. I deliver helpful cruise tips and inspiration for your future cruise travels. We are in Sitka and Celebrity Eclipse just pulled up. So it is a popular spot to be in for sure. Beautiful, beautiful Sitka. It is just a gorgeous place. I've never been here before, so this should be interesting. I'll be walking around after this and be showing you all the sights. Celebrity right next door. There's our ship. A short walk to somewhere, I'm not really sure. So this is the Sitka port area and apparently you have to take a free shuttle into downtown. So there are a lot of tours here. People see how it goes. So you have to stand in a line. We happen to be here with another ship that just arrived. So it's a little busy. We'll see how long it takes. So the shuttle bus is 12 minute ride. It does parts every 10 to 15 minutes and it's free. So factoring about 20 to 30 minutes for the line. And the last shuttle from downtown is 30 minutes prior to on board. And I wouldn't uh, risk it. I'd come here earlier than that. There's Ovation of the Seas. The city and borough of Sitka is 4,215 square miles in size. It's about a 60-40 split, 60% land, 40% water. We're just over 2,800 square miles in the city uh, and borough that are on land. The U.S. Census Bureau says that Sitka is the largest incorporated city in the United States. is the Russian Bishop House, Sheldon Jackson Museum, Science Center, Sitka Historical National Park, and the Raptor Center. Castle Hill again is where that ceremony took place from Russia to America. Castle Hill is this side of the bridge. So we're off to Castle Hill to see where the U.S. flag was planted. St. Michael's Cathedral was once burned down. It is a Russian Orthodox Church that has since been rebuilt and they have preserved all the artifacts that were inside the original church. There's a big walking center, Lincoln Street, and it's it's a nice uh, snapshot of places to eat, seafood, places to shop, people eating things. It's nice. Aries, it has an old-fashioned soda fountain in it, a working one. So 
So we're looking for Castle Hill and nothing seems to be really marked. <laughs> so I'm just going by what someone told me to do, but we're asking for directions at this point. We're able to take a ramp that operates somewhere on the other side of the of this structure, but I just took the stairs from Kaylin and Lincoln. You go down past the Harry's Pharmacy and you hang a left. I think that's the fastest option if you can climb stairs. There are a hundred. Is where we're going to the Castle here stairs. It, it, it's the Baranoff Castle historic site, and we're going to check out the view. Sitka's past is a blend of the Tlingit culture and Russian history. So in 1867, when the U.S. purchased Alaska from the Russians, the fur trade was drying out. They were not interested in this land anymore. So the transfer ceremony was held here in Sitka on Castle Hill. And if you take this bridge across, it apparently goes to the Raptor Center where they have over 200 birds they take care of every year. They nurse back to health, a lot of eagles. Sitka is accessible only by air or sea, and there is incredible scenery here. There is great fishing and hiking, abundant wildlife, and lots of history, and a lot of a big Russian influence is still present. You can see that in the church that we visited, as well as some of the things that are for sale around town. It's just a, a walk up the street from the pedestrian um, place that we were just at. We stopped by this place called Pure Salt, and it has all kinds of different salt that's been going on. I guess they were the first company in the U.S. to do this. Um, they say, I have a little bit of background here, but it's handcrafted, all kinds of different flavors. It's kind of gourmet. We bought a, a little bit of different salts. We bought a regular salt and a rosemary salt and a wild blueberry salt. So we'll see how that goes. Just little little bowls, they're little gifts for people that took care of my, my daughter, who took care of my dog. So we didn't get to the total pole park like I thought. It's actually kind of humid here. It's a little warm. So it's not rainy, it's probably high 50s. I feel like I'm overdressed, I'm a little warm. It is a really nice little town. I wish I had more time. I noticed a celebrity ship came in and they have till 7.30, but we only have till 4.30 and we're gonna be heading back soon. The line back is super long and it's completely wrapped around and I'm timing it right now, but I it's kind of chaotic here. No other options. Beautiful scenery here. This um, Sitka, the city itself, I mean, there's so many people that are here trying to get back to the ship. Um, it's kind of chaotic, and we've been in line for a half an hour, and we came here at 2.52. I don't know what's going to happen to the people that come later. So Sitka was a, a fun time. I think that the crowd, it was a little bit chaotic. 
and so that kind of ruined it for me. I did enjoy going up to the top for the panoramic view. That was nice, and then just looking around, and they have a lot of nice shopping. Like I said, the sea salt was something nice. I wish I could have gone to the National Park, the totem poles exhibit, and that was kind of to the right of the drop-off point. And I went to the left. I thought I was able to. I thought I could have done all of it, but I ran out of time. It took 30 minutes to get there by bus with the line, and then coming back, it took close to an hour so you know you have to, to uh, add that time into your your plan of the day and apparently people were talking that the restaurants because there were two ships in at the same time ours holds 4,600 people and the other ship was another it was celebrity um, ellipse and it's, it's just as big so that's a lot of people hitting this teeny little town and you know you just have to be aware of that, that it's going to be busy and crowded. So I think a national park would have been a good idea or maybe an excursion, but I couldn't book one because they were all full. So anyway, next week will be Victoria. I am going there on my next stop and I will be doing a video on Victoria, British Columbia. We are going to tea time at the Empress Hotel and we booked that on our own. So I will let you know how that goes. I hope that this has helped you figure out what you might want to do when you are in Sitka, Alaska. It's a beautiful place, lots of things happening here. It's hard to kind of make a decision sometimes when you have such minimum time, but I gave it my best shot and you too can go explore. I did read a book before I left to kind of have a good idea of what I wanted to explore, so that helped. So you might want to do your research ahead of time. Make sure you check out my playlist on the Ovation of the Seas, and I have covered some other places we've stopped. Alaska is very beautiful. This is a really nice city. It's one of my favorites, I think. If you haven't already done so, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you found value in this video and consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.